Welcome to the Nurio sensor installation video. This video will show you how to install the Nurio sensor in a two-phase electrical panel. There are four main steps you need to follow. Mounting the sensor inside the panel. Connecting the voltage cables and current transformers. Connecting the antenna. Checking your work. If you have any issues along the way, please visit support.nur.io. Before you begin, please make sure you have all the contents from the Nurio package. These items include the Nurio sensor, installation guide, voltage cables, two current transformers, two wiretaps, two self-drilling screws, a marette, two antenna mount options, and lastly, the Nurio breaker sticker. You will also need a Phillips number two screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and a cordless drill. And don't forget the flashlight, as it will get dark with the power off. Okay, let's get started. In this first step, we'll show you how to mount the sensor. First, turn off the main breaker for the home. Nurio should only be installed when the main breaker in the panel is turned off. Next, remove the exterior cover panels. If the panel has a secondary cover over the main lines, remove this as well. Be sure to be careful not to touch the exposed mainline connectors. Now let's mount the Nurio sensor. Find a convenient location within the panel. Make sure you allow room for the 4-foot current transformer leads and the two 2-foot voltage cables. Also, try not to mount the sensor too close to the side of the panel. Using the self-drilling screws included in the package, secure the Nurio sensor in place. It might take some pressure for the screws to drill the metal panel. Now it's time to install the voltage cables and current transformers. First plug the voltage cables into the Nurio sensor. Then connect the black wire to an empty 15 or 20 amp breaker on one phase of power. We'll call this phase A. If an empty breaker isn't available, you can use the provided wire tap to connect to an existing breaker. To do this, remove the existing wire from a 15 or 20 amp breaker Replace it with a new wire cut to about 4 inches, making sure that the new wire is the same gauge or larger than the wire you removed. Then use the wire tap to connect the new wire, wires from Nurio, and the original wire you removed from the breaker. Repeat the same process for the red wire, but be sure to install it on the other phase. We'll call this second phase, phase B. To find a breaker on the other phase, you can trace the phases visually. Typically, every other breaker is on a different phase. Other tips can be found at support.neur.io. Finally, connect the white to any free spots on the neutral bus bar. The blue wire isn't needed for this installation, so add the supplied marette to the end of the wire and tuck it away in your panel. Now, let's install the current transformers or CTs. Be sure to be careful not to touch the exposed main line connectors. Remove the top bracket on each CT. Then loop one CT around one of the main lines, making sure the sticker on the CT faces towards the direction of where the power is coming from and not the breaker panel. Then replace the bracket. Now loop the other CT around the second main line, again making sure the sticker on the CT faces towards the direction of where the power is coming from, and then replace its bracket. Insert the CT connectors into Nurio, making sure to use ports 1 and 2. Now it's time to connect the antenna. Connect the antenna cable to the side of the Nurio sensor. Look for either a 3 quarter inch or half inch knockout in your panel where the antenna will be inserted. Now remove this knockout with your flathead screwdriver. If the knockout has a ring around it, make sure to leave the ring intact in the panel. Insert the antenna cable from the Nurio sensor into either the 3 quarter inch or half inch knockout mount depending on the size of the knockout you have removed. Then pull the cable through. Finally, attach the antenna to the end of the antenna cable and insert through the knockout hole until the mount clicks into place. You are almost finished. Before closing up the panel, let's quickly review your work. Make sure the voltage cables and CTs are connected properly and are secure. Next, check to make sure the antenna is connected securely. Next, make sure the wiring is cleaned up. 
If you have wire ties, use those to secure any extra wire on the voltage cables or CTs. If the panel has a service entrance cover, make sure that the CT wires weren't pinched by the cover when you put it back on. Great work! Now close up the panel, making sure to add the Nurio sticker next to the breakers it's connected to. Turn on the main breaker again. Make sure the breaker the Nurio sensor is connected to is also on. You will hear the Nurio sensor chime to signal it's on. That's it! You've completed installing the Nurio sensor.